each and every method in more details. So the first one here is specific unit cost. I'm just going to briefly mention this. We will not be focusing too much on this because this method here basically just represents for each and every item that you're selling to customer, we actually keep track of its original purchase batch. This is what we call specific unit cost. Okay, this usually is not used for mass-produced products, not used for retail stores, for a lot of the wholesale stores. Okay, it's usually only used for vehicles, for jewelries, for real estate. So you can identify that these are the products that has a higher retail price compared to any of the products that you can see in Walmart or ShopRite in grocery stores. Okay, so for these products, usually there is a specific identification number for each and every, let's say each and every Toyota car, or each and every Camry model. So even though it's exactly the same model, the, um, the dealer should basically keep track of each and every car's original purchase in price. And then when customer purchase this exact car, they will use the exact purchase price purchase price to journalize the transaction. So we don't assume that if that car, if customer is purchasing earlier cars or later cars, we actually keep track of the exact product that customer is purchasing from. Okay, so for these products, unlike other products that you see in grocery stores or regular retail stores, they actually keep track of each and every item that's sold out to customer by a specific identification number. Okay, but this process is actually pretty costly to do. Um, so that's why for grocery stores, for regular retail stores, usually we just assume customers purchasing earlier products or later products. We don't exactly keep track of each and every bottle's Coke, whether it's from January 1st batch or March 1st batch. We just assign an inventory costing methods to do this. Okay, but for more expensive products, we actually, for these businesses, they actually do keep track of the original purchase cost and use that to journalize an entry when customer purchased that model, that specific car, or that specific type of ring or earrings. Okay, this, this is called specific identification method. 